See, that, that's how long this video has gotten it, you know, for the first time ever, ever. I'm going to break this down into two parts for, for various reasons. You know, you can call it clever and it's like, oh, he's got a lot to say. Nope, there was a problem. Last video got cut. It was already too long. It's like, let's move forward. So like I said, it's, these are the same people who are always trying to drill into our heads that they're here for us and their family and they love us. But when I actually call you up for something that I need, I'm not saying, hey, I need 50 bucks so we can go to a movie. I need 40 bucks so we can get some weed. I'm saying, hey, $80 will keep our lights on and keep us out of the dark and allow us to take showers and be able to cook and store our fucking food. You would feel like these people would say, hey... I'd be happy to help, but they're not, and is that entitled, you know, is, is that me assuming that my problems should take priority over your problems, in my heart, I want to say it's not in my heart, I want to say that it's just, I expect family to look out for me, especially when we've looked out for them so many times, I can't tell you how many times They'll call us on a Wednesday night and be like, hey, I need you to watch my kid on Thursday. And then on Thursday, it's like, hey, he's going to end up having to stay till Friday. And we go, oh, yeah, it's no problem. And then they call us Saturday afternoon. Hey, I'm on my way. And then they come like Saturday night. And it's never any sweat off our ass. We're just like, whatever. We're family. We're happy to help. I know you're thinking to yourself that, well, that doesn't sound like a whole lot. And it's not. But if you think about what that service would have cost you somewhere else to drop off a minor child for almost three days and even if you just wanted to pay the most uncomplex babysitter minimum wage it would more than cover my entire light bill shit that would cover my rent really so it's not about what the service is it's about how much if I hadn't done it how inconvenienced you would have been you would have not been able to go to work or whatever you had to go wages would have been lost or if it was a special event that you wanted to go to then now you have to miss out on this thing that you wanted to do and in my mind that is the exact same thing because yes you've got a prom coming up or yes you got a special event at work or you just you want to treat yourself but it's about sacrificing something that you wanted to do because you wanted to convenience someone else. That's what it is, at least for me. At least in my mind, that's how I feel it should be looked at. Unfortunately, even when I try to put that clever PR spin on it, it sounds a little entitled. I can't, I can't help how I feel about it. I can't pretend that, you know, there isn't a hint of of anger in there it is I'm a little salty about it I just I live by this family first model and these people are you know the Christian and the Christian values and you expect them to also be family first and they say they're family first and like oh I love my family and I do anything for my family as long as it doesn't require money and they go, oh we'll pray for you and I still can't help but think that saying hey I'll pray for you is I hope that somebody else helps you because I'm not going to. But I really hope it works out. I'm not about to push religion into this. But I honestly feel as I'm talking it out, yes, I absolutely sound entitled. Yes, I absolutely sound like I'm being selfish. But for the most selfless of reasons, in my opinion, this is the same person who called me up and on three hours notice stopped my wife from going to work one day so that we could help her move furniture and then when we realized that my wife was going to be late for work and she was like almost an hour late we dropped her off and then I single-handedly moved your furniture for you not to mention that that was the day that cost my wife her job things like hey 
you were late, we gotta let you go, you know, you were in the probation period, we gotta let you go. That set us back tremendously. My back was sore, my shoulder was sore, I've got a bad back, I've got a bad shoulder, I'm old, I've got a bad knee, it's like, I'm, I'm beat up, it's like, I'm a cancer survivor, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm not as strong and virile as I used to be, and my, my bones are a little weak, my muscles ain't what they used to be. But you called and said you needed help, and just like that nobility, ah, oh, family first, let's go, I'll, I'll do it, I'll help. And I'm just not getting that same sense from these people who will bend over backwards and break our necks for. And when I say it like that, suddenly I don't sound entitled anymore. I sound like someone who I've done you countless favors and now I'm asking you for a favor and you didn't even say hey let me see if I can do something let me see if I can make a phone call let me see if there's some other way that I can do it and if I can't then you know 